Hey guys, Jana Spawn, letting your light shine. Thank you all so much for joining me. Your likes, comments, subscribes, shares, and incredible support for each other is so overpowering and is amazing. So thank you all so much. Continue that work. The comments that are coming through and the emails that I'm getting, oh my gosh, you guys, keep it up, really and truly. We're supporting each other in this community and I couldn't be more grateful. Thank you all so much. All right, so we, going through narcissistic views, we get to the point where we start to heal, okay? And you all know that my, my journey of healing has gone on for the last 13 months. So I was reading a book last night and I came across some crucial points that I just, I was like, oh my gosh, aha. These are aha moments, okay? I talked about giving ourselves grace a couple of videos ago, and I don't think that we give ourselves enough grace going through healing, okay? During the narcissistic relationship, we tend to beat ourselves up, we tend to over question, over analyze, wonder what the hell went wrong, what were we thinking, okay? Stop. Let's stop that right there because. And that's why I wanted to share this because when I was reading this last night, I was like, oh my gosh, like everything I was questioning about myself, like I didn't need to do. Okay. So here are some really crucial thoughts that I wanted to share with you guys that I wrote down. Okay. Ah, <sighs> being with a narcissist, it was deception at the get go. Okay. From the moment that we ran into the narcissist or we met the narcissist. It was complete deception from that moment on. How could we have known? We didn't know. We were just extending our heart, our grace, our love, our kindness, our joy, our support, everything from that moment on because we're empathetic people. We know how to do that. We love to give, right? We love to love. But with a narcissist, they will deceive you from the moment you say hi, okay? That gave me a bunch of relief because I was like, you know what? It's like the Joker in Batman. I was fooled from the get-go, totally fooled. But I like the Joker in Batman, so that's weird, but don't like the narcissist, okay? We are not stupid or, um, you know, ridiculous for thinking and feeling the way that we feel. Again, don't talk down to yourself. Don't talk negative about yourself. We didn't know any better because if we did, we would have done better. And there's a famous quote by my favorite author in the world, Louise Hay. You can heal your life, get the book, read the book, audio the book, change my life. It's amazing. She said, we all do the best that we can at the time with the knowledge that we have. And what that means is I didn't know better. I never had been in a narcissistic relationship. So how would I have known that the narcissist was preying upon me, was manipulating me, was gaslighting me, was charming me? How would I have known this? I wouldn't have because I didn't know. I'd never experienced that in life. So when I say give yourself grace, give yourself grace to know that you didn't know better. You didn't understand that this person was the way they were or are and will continue to be that person. You didn't know what to do. If you did, and I did, we would have ran for the freaking hills in the matter of two minutes. I didn't know better. So I didn't do better. Same with you. All right. So that's why I'm saying don't beat yourself up. Don't talk negatively about why you, you, you didn't do this or you could have done this. I did that for a very short time. And then I said, no, 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 girl. No, 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 no. I remembered that book that I had started reading in 2009 which changed my life. And I immediately went back and I, I have read that book, I don't know how many times, probably at least 30 at this point. But I remember Louise Hayes saying that. I was like, girl, you know this. Why are you, you self-doubting, okay? 
So that helped me along the way. So I encourage you to please stop blaming yourself. This is not your fault. This is so not your fault. It never was, it never will be, okay? The narcissist is a different breed, all right? And a breed we don't wanna become, okay? You're not a fool. You are a genuine person, as we all are, okay? Non-narcissistic. And uh, we just really thought they were genuine too because people like ourselves, we truly believe with the, with the bottom of our hearts that everybody is as good and kind and loving and giving and caring as we are. But the reality is not everybody is. I think the majority of people are, but when you encounter a narcissist, they don't know how to be this way, so they never will be this way, okay? But it's not your job to figure it out. You were just bamboozled. I was bamboozled, okay? And um, we can sit here and, and take ownership and beat ourselves up, but what does that do for our lives? It gives us stress, it gives us pressure, it makes us unhappy, it, it gets us in a state of depression, and I refuse to live that way again. Never again, never again. Because nobody gets to choose my happiness, I get to. Okay, for a long time, the narcissist um, thought he could choose my happiness, but here's the, here's the downside of it. I chose to allow him to determine my happiness. So that was something I had to learn. And I, I'm so glad I'm learning it because you know what? Life's about learning and, and, and moving and, and growing and doing better. So again, this is why I'm doing these videos for you guys because I want you to understand that I've been there. I know what you're feeling. I know what you're struggling with. But don't take that ownership for something that you have no control over. We have no control over their behavior. We have zero control, okay? We have total control over our own behavior and what we choose to allow and what we choose to not allow in the future. So I'm learning too with you all, okay? And uh, just remember that deception happens all over the world, um, but with narcissists, they're gonna prey on you like there is no tomorrow, okay? You absolutely, 100% can begin again. You can start over, you can turn over a new leaf, you can wake up tomorrow and say, today is going to be the first day of the rest of my life. Yep, I do it every day. It's funny though, because you know what? I used to say that to the narcissist because I would always in the back of my mind say, I am not going to be with this man for the rest of my life because he is awful he is makes me miserable and i will escape sooner or later okay and i just kept saying today is the first day of the rest of my life and you know what that day was march 7th 2022 and here i am 13 months later and every day has been the best and it gets better every morning that I wake up. And I am so gracious and I am so grateful for my life, my strength, the courage that I've had, the amount of support that I had with family, friends, and my community, you guys. You guys keep me going too. So I want you to understand that I'm just not here to help all of you. You guys are helping me too. And that's why I just, I can't, thank you all enough. You have no idea. So this is so powerful to be able to just reach out to one another and just, just, ah, just virtual hug to everybody. Cause I just, I just want to hug all of you. You guys have no idea. Oh, you can definitely be happy again. You can love again. One of the things that I've learned in life and you know, not necessarily from being in the narcissistic relationship, but just just in general and you know we all don't want to move on to the next relationship because we have this wallet okay we have this wallet because we've been abused uh, we you know had a bad experience or somebody cheated or somebody lied or whatever the case may be but what I've learned is that if we continue to have this wallet because of something somebody else did totally blocks the door to open for somebody amazing to enter our lives. 
And I know I, I, I deal with that with my business every day. I, you know, I, I, I call people and say, Hey, your divorce is final. Congratulations. And you know, for the moment they're happy. And then they say to me, they go, you know what, Janice, I am never, ever getting married again. And I went, you know what? Mm, never say never because that's when you just shut the door for the most amazing opportunities that are going to present themselves to you. So just because you had a bad experience with somebody or several people, please don't let that hinder you from opening your heart again. I understand that it has to be guarded. I understand that it has to be something that you preserve, but just remember the next person that comes into your life may be that amazing person that you have been manifesting your entire life. And you don't wanna shut him or her out simply because you were hurt in the past, okay? And I'm, I, I'm experiencing that myself. And you know, it's so easy for me to go, oh gosh, I'm done. I am done with people. I wanna be single the rest of my life. I love being single. And you know what, let me tell you something, there is nothing wrong with it, okay? Um, having people in my life that I can experience certain things with is amazing. Is one of those going to turn into something bigger in the future? I don't know, but I'm not putting conditions on any of them. I am simply just living my life and living in the now, living in the moment. And I'm not trying to figure out my future. I'm not trying to figure out who's going to be in my life or who's not. I'm just going with the flow but I have an open heart and I am recognizing that people will treat you the way that their heart really truly is. So if they treat you badly, pay attention to what their heart is, is stating. Maybe they don't love themselves, but if a person is treating you amazing and they are opening their heart to you, don't shut them out. Don't shut them out until they give you reason to. I understand you have to have a guard. I understand that. And that's great because that's called boundaries. And that's something I've been working on. But you know what? I've had nothing but respect from other people with my boundaries. So it's pretty amazing. The, the, the more boundaries that you set, the more respectful people that are going to enter your life. And I can say that with 100% certainty okay because it's happened to me and um, don't don't sell yourself short and live in the past due to a bad broken relationship because your next person the most amazing person may just be that person wanting to come through that door but you have to shut it the old one and open that new door so that person can come through that new door for you okay um be guarded i get it but don't shut yourself down okay because then you're just denying yourself something that could be the most amazing greatness in your future okay all right love and light to all of you Mwah. love you all thank you